What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name's Jacob. If you're wondering, yes, that's me. And this is, well, this is gonna be an interesting video. I'm asking the question. I'm asking the question, can I, can I live the van life for seven days? Can I survive in a van with nothing much else for a whole week? That's gonna be the plan. I've got a destination. I've got a van. And I've got myself. So guys, I thought, look, this is the first video of the series. Um, I'm not gonna be taking off in the van until next week. But I thought whilst I was here, we could discuss it and have a quick look before I do anything to it. So the van is completely and utterly stripped. Uh, there is nothing inside it. And that, to me, is a blank canvas that is so exciting. And this is something that I've wanted to do for a long, long time. You know, anytime I see someone wake up in a van or out in a van or just... Honestly, man, the one thing that I'm imagining is waking up in the van when it's raining, opening that end door and laying in my bed and looking out at whatever view I'm parked up in front of with the rain on the roof and a coffee in hand and a book and that sounds like heaven it really does so that's the plan guys it's going to be a week of solace it's going to be a week of content creation because i'm going to vlog the whole thing and i'm really looking forward to it man so we're in christchurch new zealand the destination that i need to be in a week and a half is queenstown i'm doing my very first marathon believe it or not. I'm going to take this opportunity to take the van, um, set it all up for myself for a week, head down to Queenstown, do the marathon, and then live the van life for the week post-marathon. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So, moment of truth, guys. That's her right there. <laughs> she hasn't got a name yet, but I'm sure she will. And... Um, I mean, I open this, guys. I open this, and I have a look inside here, and it's 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 a it's a feeling of excitement. It's a feeling of the unknown. It's a feeling of happiness, and the reason I'm so happy is because this is what I'm looking at. So look. Literally nothing guys. Fuck man, you could fit a whole double bed in here plus some. So <laughs> There she is The beauty So yeah, I suppose uh, That feeling that I was talking about that amazing feeling that I cannot wait to have is gonna be somewhat similar to laying right here in my nice comfy bed with my comfy ass pillows ah, hearing the rain on the roof seeing it out the windows waking up just like this just like this and looking out at some incredible view with just a surge of positivity and motivation that's how i see it happening guys for anyone else out there that's done the van life please let me know in the comment section below. For anyone that wants to subscribe and follow along my, my first ever experience with living the van life for seven days, uh, please subscribe. And for anyone else in a category that I haven't mentioned, um, please, by all means, like the video. It means a hell of a lot to this channel and its growth. So, there we have it. I will be leaving Christchurch on the Thursday before. So the marathon's Saturday the 21st of November. I will be packing up on Thursday the 19th and taking off. And I cannot fucking wait. I cannot wait, guys. There's gonna be a couple other things that I'm gonna do whilst I'm away, such as uh, taking a break from social media. I will be taking a complete week off. And I will be vlogging that too. I mean, why not? That's the kind of thing that I like bringing to my channel. It's unbiased, unfiltered, experiences and opinions and thoughts of mine as just an ordinary bloke 
here in New Zealand and uh, I've clearly lived in Australia for too long because I just called myself a bloke and that's not on. <laughs> so guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you in about a week when we head off. I can't wait. Peace out guys, let's fucking do this.